Imagine circling around the earth with only 26 days of fuel left and with no signs of rescue or plan for the return to the earth. This is what is happening right now with two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Indian origin US citizen Sunita William, who are in NASA's Boeing Starlink spacecraft. They docked at the International Space Station and due to a series of technical issues, their return to the earth has been significantly delayed. Why are US astronauts William and Wilmore stuck in space? News 9 Plus decodes. Let's begin by looking at what has happened so far. On the 5th of June, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams had lifted off as a final demonstration to obtain routine flight certification from NASA. About 26 hours after launching from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in the US, they docked at the International Space Station. They were expected to return home after spending about a week in the orbit. Williams scripted history by becoming the first female astronaut to fly on the first flight of a crewed spacecraft. On docking with the International Space Station, they were welcomed by Expedition 71 crew. But since then, their return has been postponed two times, once on June 13th and then on June 26th, with no further return date given by NASA. Why is NASA's Boeing Starliner stuck in space? Herein lies the story. Now, even before the launch, the first attempt on May 6th was delayed for the leak checks and rocket repairs. Then, on the 1st June, minutes before the liftoff of the second launch, it was aborted. Then finally, on the 6th of June, the Starliner was launched, despite there being a small leak of helium gas. Now, helium is used to push the propellant to thrust the systems used for manoeuvring in space and slowing down to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Then, while travelling to the International Station, four further helium leaks developed and five of its 28 manoeuvring thrusters were cut out during the approach. Then, while travelling to the International Station, four further helium leaks developed and five of its 28 manoeuvring thrusters cut out during the approach to the space station and a propellant valve that failed to close completely. These issues have required extensive mid-mission fixes and additional tests. Why is the mission crucial? Well, this mission is the final test needed for NASA to certify Starliner as a viable spacecraft for transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. Successful certification would make Starliner the second US spacecraft for such missions, alongside SpaceX's X Crew Dragon. This is essential for maintaining continuous presence on the ISS and supporting future missions. What are the rescue options before Boeing? Well, if Starliner is deemed incapable of safely returning the astronauts to Earth, then one option would be to send them back through SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which is currently docked at the ISS and can accommodate additional astronauts in an emergency. Now, Boeing asking rival SpaceX will be a significant setback for Boeing Starliner as an option for ISS missions. It has already faced approximately 1.5 billion cost overruns beyond its initial 4.5 billion NASA contract. Meanwhile, the astronauts Wilmore and Williams will stay abroad the ISS until at least the 2nd of July as the officials investigate the helium leaks.